cancer, and that's Breast Cancer Awareness this month. News 11's Molly Lang met up with the Yuma, San Luis, and Summerton firefighters this morning, and she's live in the studio with this story. Hey, Molly. Hey, Nico. Yeah, last year, the United Firefighters Association raised up to $6,000, actually $6,400 to be exact, at their takeover, and they're hoping to surpass that amount today. They have been at Brewers since 11 a.m. this morning, and they'll be there to 11 p.m. to show their support. If you're going to eat today, why not here? All the firefighters in the region came out to Brewers to support Bridget's gift and to raise awareness for breast cancer. Well, so far it looks great. We have a lot of people coming in for lunch. Uh, we're expecting a lot more this evening. Hopefully, you know, everybody gets off of work and gets hungry and thirsty and they come over to Brewers and help us out. And, uh, you know, again, 10% of everything today goes to uh, uh, Bridget's gift. The proceeds to Bridget's gift will help people get breast exams and pay for medical expenses. We've had a handful of uh, firefighters' wives and or moms uh, that have had breast cancer. Uh, we've shown support in different ways from car washes to shaving our heads. Yuma, San Luis and Summerton firefighters came together to put this on for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It's hard to find someone who isn't affected by breast cancer. It's good in all aspects. I mean, we're helping the females in the community with uh, breast cancer awareness as well as raising money for breast cancer and on our end we get to come out and serve the public in another way, bus tables, serve drinks and uh, get a little messy. This is the eighth annual takeover United Firefighters Association has put on for Bridget's gift. As you can see uh, all the firefighters right now are wearing pink shirts and this is just to show the community that we support you know them and that there's help out there and they're not alone. Well come on down to Brewers until 11 p.m. to show your support. They'll be there serving and busing tables and 10 percent of all proceeds will benefit Bridget's gift. Back to you, Nico and Irene. All right, thank you so much, Molly. Well, law enforcement is taking over two local restaurants, but not in the way you may think. Molly Lang is in the house with more on how you can help out two great causes in the community. Molly, what are they? Thanks, John and Irene. Well, the community is really coming together to help out the people in need. Tomorrow, there will be two takeovers. Yuma Police Department will be at Brewer's Restaurant supporting the Special Olympics, and the United Firefighters Association will be at Buffalo Wild Wings showing their support for breast cancer awareness. Local public safety and law enforcement agencies are taking over two Yuma restaurants Wednesday night. Come support the United Firefighters Association and Bridget's Gift 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. at Brewer's Restaurant. Brewer's is donating 10% of the profits to Bridget's Gift, an organization that helps breast cancer patients with medical expenses. To show support, firefighters will be wearing pink. There's so many families. There's families here in the fire department that have been battling uh, breast cancer for a long time, so it, it's pretty dear to us. Yuma Police Department will be at Buffalo Wild Wings on Wednesday from 6 to 9 p.m. to show support for the Special Olympics of Yuma. We've got so many wonderful leadership members in the community. Um, the police department always sponsors our um, annual torch run. Um, they will be there as well as pretty much um, Sheriff's Department. Um, many of the military will be there as well um, to help us out to put this event on. Officers will be raising funds for the Special Olympics triathlon this Saturday. We will have some officers out there, um, both helping with registration, and we're hoping to have a few uniform officers out there to help hand out the medals to all the athletes. They love seeing us. Um, you know, they love seeing the public interacting with the public. It's a lot of fun interacting with them because the energy they have is contagious, so to say. I mean, they get you pumped up really quick. If you'd like to get involved, it's from 7 to 11 a.m. at the Palms RV Resort at 3400 South Avenue 7E. All of the funds raised from both events will stay in Yuma County. If you want to show your support, the United Firefighters Association will be at Brewers from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. tomorrow, and Yuma Police Department will be at Buffalo Wild Wings from 6 to 9 p.m. Back to you, Rob. Thank you very much, Molly. All the funds raised from both events will stay in Yuma County. If you want to show your support, the United Firefighters Association will be at Brewers from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. And Yuma Police Department will be at Buffalo Wild Wings from 6 to 9 p.m. We'll be right back right after the break. Early Edition, your number one source for news in the desert southwest.
Welcome back, everyone. Law enforcement is taking over two local restaurants, but not in the way you may think. Molly Lang is in the studio with more on how you can help out two great causes in the community. Molly. Thanks, Irene. Yeah, the community is really coming together to help out people in need. Tomorrow, there will be two takeovers, one at Brewer's Restaurant with YPD and the other at Buffalo Wild Wings with the United Firefighters Association to show their support.